Hello, folks. Welcome to Champions of Champions Boxing Talk. Well, this year, as I say, is proving to be... I think it's going to end a spectacular year for boxing and hopefully it sets the pace for future fights in 2018 to follow suit and match more of the best against the best. And one of the best, arguably in some people's mind, the pound for pound best, Mr. Lomachenko, put on what I thought was an absolute masterclass this weekend against Jason Sosar. A little uh, note about Jason Sassar. He's a better fighter than people think. That guy is so tough. If Lomachenko would have been a stationary target for any prolonged period in that fight, I think we'd have seen some good stuff from this guy. But because Lomachenko's footwork is so good, and because his volume is so sharp, and because he's so crisp, and because his constant movement over 10, 12 rounds, I think this guy could move for 15 rounds in the old days if he was still fighting. I think that that helps him defensively because the movement is so stunning. So he moves like Spider Man. You know, it's like watching Spider Man in the ring. You miss him, he'll hit you three times. Or at least attempt to throw combinations. Not all of them will land. He's not a perfect puncher. I don't think he's the most accurate puncher. Controversial. But there's enough volume and work rate there. And skill. And how he works angles is extraordinary. He can use both left and right hands very well. Can hit from distance even though he's small. Can hit when close up, can actually hold and be strong on the inside when he needs to be, can outfight you, can outbox you, can outthink you, can outmaneuver you. So I think Jason Sassar, he took real punishment for 10 rounds and was still there, you know. Lomachenko's work to the body, I thought, stopped, helped him get the stoppage in this fight. I mean, when you've got that much speed and that much ability to throw volume, why not go to the body, you know? Sometimes it's an art we forget in boxing. But I thought Lomachenko used that very well in this fight. And if he, again, if Lomachenko would have been stationary at any point, Jason would have, I think, had some success. He was trying to engage himself, but Lomachenko was just, Never in range. When Jason would throw a right, Lomachenko would be at his left. It was very interesting because uh, my brother actually made a good point. He said, why doesn't Jason throw um, at thin air? Because if he throws a punch at Lomachenko, Lomachenko is going to move away from it. Hit where Lomachenko isn't because that's probably where Lomachenko is going to go. It sounds really confusing, but why not? You've got to try and catch this dude somehow. So Lomachenko to me was outstanding. It was the clear winner of the fight. I didn't give uh, Sasar a round, to be honest with you. Um, Lomachenko is fighting currently at 130 pounds. Now, I'm a fan of Lomachenko. I think it's a shame that 50,000 people or at least 20,000 people are not coming out to see this guy. He should be filling more than three to 4,000 in his fights because he's that spectacular. I mean, back in England, we hype up Anthony Joshua. And I'm going to be honest with you. I think Joshua is going to prove to be a very good heavyweight, but he's not going to be Lomachenko level pound for pound. Let me tell you that. So why should he be getting 90,000 and Lomachenko 4,000? That's the tragedy of boxing sometimes. But Lomachenko, and I will agree with this, is one of, if not the greatest amateur boxer of all time. 
what is it, 300 plus fights and only a loss of two at most. I'm not quite sure of his record. Yes, as an amateur. There's been a lot of comparisons with Lomachenko and Manny Pacquiao. And people have heard say to me, Lomachenko would school Manny Pacquiao. I respect Jason Sassar. I respect uh, Solano Olito, I think it was, that actually defeated Lomachenko. Those guys are warriors. I respect Martinez, who Lomachenko stopped in the fifth round spectacularly. They're not Manny Pacquiao. And Lomachenko's eight fight, I mean, it's incredible. He's a world champion in two weight classes in just eight matches. But no guy on that list is a Miguel Cotto. No guy on that list has achieved what Ricky Hatton achieved. No guy on that list is Juan Manuel Marquez. No guy on that list is Eric Morales. No guy on that list is Floyd Mayweather. No guy on that list is Timothy Bradley. No guy on that list is Antonio Margarito. I could go on forever. Manny Pacquiao had beaten by age 29, getting on for 30. Multiple future Hall of Famers as a pro, a professional. Lomachenko, who's up there with the best, has beaten no Hall of Famers yet. Manny Pacquiao was a legend by Lomachenko's age as a professional. That's just the bottom line. So the comparisons with Manny Pacquiao and Lomachenko don't really bear fruit. Manny has achieved much more than Lomachenko will ever do. Ever. As a professional. We could talk amateurs, yes, but I'm talking about the professional realm. You know, you take the headgear off and let's go. Sometimes it can be a different sport. That is where Manny truly excelled. Here's another thing where Manny Pacquiao excelled more than Lomachenko. The dynamite in his fists at 130 pounds lower or up to 140 pounds. Manny Pacquiao had knockout power. Now I seen Lomachenko hit Sosar with real tough Punches in bunches. Combinations. And Jason made it to the second round. Or the tenth round, sorry. With Manny Pacquiao. If he landed that combination. At 130 pounds against the same guy. He's sleeping after two rounds. Let me tell you. Manny Pacquiao at 130 pounds. Was the equivalent in punching terms to Mike Tyson as a heavyweight. No no doubt about it. Lomachenko is not. He's a volume puncher. He wears his fighters down. He hurts them. But he doesn't have the concussive power that Manny Pacquiao is. Or has. Manny Pacquiao still hurts welterweights today. He knocks them down. Ask Jesse Vargas. Ask Timothy Bradley. Even Floyd Mayweather caught a few nasty left hands in their fight. And of the two guys that looked stunned, it was more Floyd than Manny. And look at the size difference. Antonio Margarito, look at the state of that guy. Plus Manny has gone up and won titles in eight different weight classes. Champion in uh, record five lineal titles. I've said all this before, but Loma, I don't see Lomachenko going up the ladder like Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao is truly unique. Lomachenko's manager, let's just reiterate something. 
Lomachenko is 29 years of age. Lomachenko's manager said it would be suicide for him to fight Terence Crawford at 140 pounds. That is not something that Manny Pacquiao would be saying when he was 29 about fighting a 140 pounder. Ricky Hatton. One of the best 140 pounders of his era, if not the. Manny Pacquiao had no problem. Going up, don't forget, he'd only had one fight against a bigger man. Going up to, say, a welterweight to light welterweight realm. In, there was one Diaz that Manny Pacquiao beat. Then he went on to Oscar De La Hoya. Who, Oscar was a bit more past his prime than Ricky was, I think, at that point. So, he fought Ricky at Ricky Hatton's best weight for the first time. His first fight at 140 pounds. Now, Manny Pacquiao never said, I'm not fighting the dude, you know. This would be suicide. No. Because Manny Pacquiao knew where he could go. Same with Lomachenko. He knows where he can't go. And Lomachenko, let me tell you, he moves sometimes similar to Manny. Some people even argue his footwork's better. He throws combinations. He's aggressive at times. And his work rate is second to none. Just like Manny Pacquiao's. But he's not achieving in the weight realms. The same accolades that Manny has done. And in terms of. Well. Who would win Lomachenko and Manny Pacquiao. Now people say. Lomachenko would school Manny Pacquiao. I'm not so sure. First of all, Manny Pacquiao would be by far, even now, Lomachenko's best opponent. The fastest opponent he's faced. And you know something, what would be really unique about this fight, for the first time in a long time, Manny Pacquiao would actually be the bigger stronger man and Manny Pacquiao would have the luxury of being able to hit a 130 pounder again where he was a ferocious puncher Lomachenko could do whatever he wants but it's a 12 round fight you're telling me Manny's not going to land at some point with that hand speed and Lomachenko in the clinch with Manny Pacquiao Pacquiao would be stronger, more powerful, just as accurate. In fact, now Manny Pacquiao is more economical. At times, Lomachenko threw punches for throwing punches' sake. I know he won the fight clearly, but I did see him waste shots where he didn't need to. He'd already won the exchange, but wanted to do more. Also, Manny Pacquiao has proven that when the volume does decrease, when age starts to knock on the door, he can make adjustments and be the smart fighter and only throw shots when he needs to throw shots. And that has improved his accuracy, I think. I think Manny Pacquiao would let Lomachenko throw all that lever and pop. He's been in with Masters, Manny Pacquiao. He, I can see he's learnt things from Juan Manuel Marquez and Floyd Mayweather. He has. He's picked up things from opponents because he's fought legends. Lomachenko knows what Lomachenko knows and only that because what he's had so far has been more or less enough by far against everybody. But Manny Pacquiao's had a few lessons in boxing. Which can help you improve. So. It makes it seem like I'm having a go at Lomachenko. I am not. This guy is going. This guy is a sensation. And this man will be a sensation. He will end up an all time great. Even in the pros I think. I believe he can go up to. Maximum maybe 140. And win a title. I don't think he beats Terence Crawford. Because I think Crawford isn't that far off. His ability. At 
£140. And you know what they say? If you get a small man who's a genius and you get a big man who's a genius, generally the bigger genius wins in boxing. And I think they both got genius to them. Equally so. The pound for pound argument is mythical and we can go on about that sort of stuff forever. Do I think Lomo's done enough so far to be pound for pound number one? I think he might arguably have the best skill set, but it's got to be proven against opposition, basically. Variety. And I don't see better guys on Lomo's record than the guy everybody criticises, Triple G. But Triple G has got some good fighters on there. Danny Jacobs. What a win that was against David Lemieux. Look how good Lemieux's look after that. And Triple G really outboxed him. Using the jab to magnificent effect. Kel Brook, he's one of the best welterweights in the world. A while back he was in the top 10 pound for pound in the world. Now I know people say, oh well, uh, Triple G beat the smaller man. So did Floyd Mayweather when he beat Marquez and Pacquiao. But there's still great fighters out there. There's still still good wins for Floyd. And it's still a good win for Triple G against Brook. So he's got three, at least three real top fighters. Danny Jacobs is a better fighter than anybody thought he was. And Triple G still managed to pull it off. When Jacobs fought, I thought the best tactical fight of his life made it really difficult for Triple G but Triple G found a way to win against a varied style to what he's been used to so far so let's even say Andre Ward now Andre Ward has beaten Carl Froch Andre Ward has beaten Kessler you know he's won the Super 6 and he had that battle with Kovalev pound for pound number 2 is there anyone on Lomachenko's record like um, Kovalev, pound for pound? Not yet. So, the proof is to say is in the pudding. And Manny Pacquiao, again, like, like many of the all-time greats, he's faced a variety of different styles. Styles that Lomachenko has yet to face. Lomachenko hasn't had to do anything so far different. Because, as I say... He's been a cut above who he's fighting by far. But the day the equivalent of em en el Eric Morales, sorry, or a Barrera, or a Marquez, or a Tim Bradley at his weight shows up, that's when we will see the greatness of Lomachenko. But it has to be proven. I think he will show it. But... Shout out to Hatman Boxing, he said it perfectly. In terms of achievements and going up in the weight classes, there is only one Manny Pacquiao. And having pop in your hands going up in the weight does matter. Otherwise, Polly Malinagi would beat everybody, wouldn't he? He'd have beat Sam Ettingham because he was outskilling Sam Ettingham in his last fight. But Sam Ettingham had no respect and could walk right through him. Lomachenko doesn't have the pop to keep Keith Furman off or Sean Porter I'm sorry but Manny Pacquiao did so power matters when you really really boil it down if you haven't got the power you stay in your own weight class range there's nothing wrong with that but Manny Pacquiao because of his uniqueness, his speed, and that power, that pop that can even hurt welterweights, or even somebody in the light middleweight, has helped him achieve what he's achieved. So, that's basically how I see it. Great performance from Lomachenko. But this Manny Pacquiao v Lomachenko, of course, Manny Pacquiao, if his legs didn't move and he went, he become an ancient man overnight, Lomachenko on that night could win. But I'm thinking if Manny Pacquiao is 75 to 80% of himself, 
he'd be big he'd beat Lomachenko because he has all the advantages. His speed is comparable, his footwork is comparable, his power is more, his accuracy is comparable, and he's got the size and strength. Lomachenko's never fought at 140 or 147 pounds before. So Lomachenko as an amateur and as a professional, he's going on for a Hall of Fame career. Maybe, if the opposition increases, an all-time great career. But Manny Pacquiao is already there. And by the end of it, I think in 10 years' time, when you examine these two as professionals, Manny will be seen as the greater fighter. That's not me saying it, that's the achievements. Again, when they were the same age, Manny had done more. So if Lomachenko's going to go above Manny, he's got a lot of work to do from now on, don't you think? But Lomachenko is arguably my, of this generation, the new generation, maybe my favourite fighter but as a boxer and all the skills he has. But I'm just keeping it as it is. Lomachenko is a legend. He's going to be a legend. But Manny Pacquiao is a standard, isn't he? And a unique one at that. Nothing wrong with not being able to win 10 world titles in 10 weight classes. <laughs> but Manny is the only man that's ever done that, remember. So I'm just putting, we do get carried away when we see a new spectacular boxer. But we have to see how it plays before we make statements. We've seen how Manny's career played. Let's see how Lomo's plays. So that's all I've got. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll be back soon. Champions of Champions Boxing Talk. Thank you for listening.